What's up guys, JC Figs here and today we're going to do a little bit of Flashback Friday. We have Wrestlemania 14, Stone Cold Steve Austin, bone crunching action, and Wrestlemania 15, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Now, Wrestlemania 14 was when Stone Cold defeated Shawn Michaels with the help of Mike Tyson as a special guest referee. Of course, Tyson knocked out Shawn Michaels and Stone Cold took the W. Wrestlemania 15, Stone Cold vs. The Rock. Stone Cold beat The Rock for the World Wrestling Federation Championship title. McMahon was very upset. Both these WrestleManias were great. WrestleMania 14 is probably one of my favorites of all time. Excellent WrestleMania. Lots of great matches there. Stacked card. So these figures, of course, they don't have great articulation, but we're going to check out the boxes, open them up, and check out the figures. On the front, you see Stone Cold Steve Austin and Shawn Michaels. You see the WrestleMania 14 logo. Then there's Stone Cold Steve Austin in the bubble. He has the Stone Cold University SCU shirt on, and he comes with a WrestleMania 14 display stand. It's all red and black. At the bottom, you can see it says World Wrestling Federation. Stone Cold Steve Austin. And this is for ages four and up. So make sure if you're under four, your kids don't play with it, right? On the back, it promotes other BCA figures, Stomp 2, Slammers 2, Shotgun Saturday Night figures, and the Ripton Ruthless figures. Lots of throwbacks here, very nostalgic. Any of you 90s kids like me, I grew up playing with these BCAs and I still love them today. They're great to collect and they're very inexpensive. So if you wanna like jump away from elites or whatever for a little while, save a little bit of money, but still build up your collection, I highly suggest getting on the BCA train. WrestleMania 15 Stone Cold Steve Austin at the top. It has the WrestleMania 15 logo. It says on the front of the bubble, Win one of 20,000 limited Steve Austin action figures. See, insert for details, one in 40 chances of winning. Expires December 31st, 1999. Hopefully, I won, but I guess it doesn't matter much because I'm pretty sure it expired. On the left side it says Stone Cold Steve Austin. It has a picture of Stone Cold, you know, yelling at people. It's got the WWF logo. Superstar Series 7, bone crunching action. Also ages four and up. On the back it has Superstar Series 7, fully loaded superstars. Two tough three, a wrestling ring with twin catapults. I need to get one of those. And the championship title belts. I had the Intercontinental one as a kid. I'm gonna have to give me one of those too. These figures are great. We're gonna go ahead and pop them open and check them out and compare them with other BCA Stone Cold Steve Austins and even compare them with some elites. Okay, so here we have WrestleMania 14, bone crunching Stone Cold Steve Austin. The head, it looks like Stone Cold. He's bald. He has the goatee. He has the brown eyebrows. The shirt, he has Stone Cold University, SCU. On the back of the shirt, it says Class of 316. Now, he wore this shirt on the Raw after WrestleMania 14. He did not wear this shirt at WrestleMania 14. He has a belt on. It looks pretty good. It looks detailed. It's actually going through his belt buckle, which is a good touch from Jack. Pretty good details for its time. The jeans look like jeans. It's got a seam down each side. Now, there are tiny holes on each side of the leg as well as the arms. I always wondered what those were for and I'm still not sure. If you know, comment below and let me know please. Down below he has his black boots on just like at the Raw after WrestleMania 14. And he comes with a very nice and shiny WrestleMania 14 WWF display stand. Let's see if he fits on here and can stand properly. These BCA figures were a little difficult to get to stand by themselves, but not too bad if they're brand new. You know, eventually after a play and stuff, their legs get loose. But there you go, he stands perfectly. Nope, no issue at all. I'm gonna have to get another shelf for all my old school figures. I can't wait for that. But this figure looks good, and I'm a huge fan of the BCAs, and this one looks awesome. Now let's go ahead and check out the WrestleMania 15 Stone Cold. Well guys, I didn't win. Maybe next time, we'll try again. Anyway, this Stone Cold WrestleMania 15. Some noticeable differences already about this figure in the WrestleMania 14. The face is different. He looks very angry in this one. It doesn't really look as much like Stone Cold as the WrestleMania 14, surprisingly. This figure is a little bit newer. However, they were both released in 1998. Another difference is the arms on this WrestleMania 15 one are bigger. And they also have hair on the forearms and on the hands. You can see the details in the hands a little bit more 
but they are bigger as well. He has a tank top on that says don't trust anybody, you know, DTA. He has a black belt, you can also see the metal part, and he has black pants on and the black boots. Another thing I noticed about this figure, as well as a lot of BCAs from back in the day, is where the neck is, you can kind of see like the glue. So like the neck was glued on and you can't turn it at all. If you look closely at some of the older BCA figures, you can definitely tell that. The legs move great, the arms are good. They're not loose or anything, so they move good. It comes with the WWF display stand. Now this is a different one than the WrestleMania 14, obviously. And let's see how he fits on there. He stands up fine without it. But of course, having the WWF display stand looks nice and it helps him stand better. And there we go, he looks perfect. So these are both really good additions to a WWF BCA collection. These are both very cheap figures. You can find them mock between 10 to $20 all over the place, eBay, Mercari, maybe your local toy store. Go check them out. Times are getting tough, you know, people are cutting back on collecting if you still wanna collect, but at a budget. I definitely suggest the BCA line. These figures are inexpensive and they're really fun to collect. And I gotta be honest, they're, they're pretty enjoyable to open up some vintage figures. Now let's go ahead and compare these Stone Cold Steve Austins with a few of the other BCAs that I have. So as you can see here, I have a few different Stone Cold figures to compare with. This one here is the Mail Away Toy Fair exclusive Steve Austin. And it's the same head, same exact body as the WrestleMania 14 Stone Cold. This one just has a different shirt and it comes with a hat. But it is a mail away exclusive. Maybe they'll become rare one day. Probably not as rare as the Hasbro mail aways, but they still may become rare, who knows. These two here, I can't for the life of me find where this one's from. I got it in a lot. I'm not sure where it is. They also have the same body and same head. And just when you thought the arms couldn't get any bigger, on the WrestleMania 15 Stone Cold, this one comes along and guess what? The arms are even bigger. As we know, Jax liked having big bulky wrestlers all their figures are huge, right? All their arms and muscles are just exploding, massive. That's the way Jax was. None of the figures from back then are in scale. They are all very similar. There's a ton of Stone Colds with the same heads and they all just have different attires. But that's the cool thing about collecting these BCA figures. You just get a bunch of figures for pretty cheap and they all have different attires so it looks cool in your collection to have a bunch of figures with different clothes and from different time periods of that wrestler's career. And just for fun I went ahead and put the Ultimate Edition next to the WrestleMania 14 and 15 BCA Stone Cold Steve Austin's. Obviously you can tell the difference the Ultimate has a real life head scan so it looks exactly like Stone Cold. These ones still look like Steve Austin. They were good for the time period that they were released. You could tell that they were Stone Cold not only by the head and the facial hair but also by the clothing that he wore and the way that he looked. Now it's time for the JC Figs rating. The way we're gonna do this is we're gonna rate it based on the time period that these were released. We're not gonna rate them based on the way the Ultimate Edition compares to these old school BCA figures. So the WrestleMania 14 Stone Cold Steve Austin. I'm giving an 8 out of 10. He comes with clothing that you know it's Stone Cold Steve Austin. It has a front and back logo. The pants look great. There's back pockets on it. The belt looks really good. You can see the loopholes for the, the waistband. The jeans look excellent and the display stand is very shiny and nice. It looks great for the WrestleMania 14 logo. WrestleMania 15 Stone Cold. I'm giving a seven out of 10. This one is more plain. The face doesn't look quite as much like Stone Cold. Granted, the WrestleMania 14 looks kind of sad. This one looks very angry. Stone Cold was angry a lot, but this one doesn't really capture Steve Austin, I don't think. The shirt is okay. It says don't trust anybody there's nothing on the back the belt doesn't really have the loopholes but it still looks all right the pants look decent as well and of course the WWF logo display stand is just the WWF symbol it's not the WrestleMania 15 logo or anything it's very plain and dull so that's why I'm going to the 7 out of 10 here let me know which Stone Cold Steve Austin figure out of these two that you guys like the most in the comments below make sure you guys like and subscribe to my channel that's the bottom line because JC Figs said so.